welcome to number 27. Other blogs bring you pretty girls. For example, we have Home Built by Jeff. Excellent blog, by the way, great guy, have a look at it. He's got the lovely and classy Mrs. Jeff. You have Adam LZ, who has his um, girlfriend, now wife, in a bikini. She's very cute. Seen through glass. He had some models when he went on the cannonball run. Here at number 27, I bring you the Hooter. All right, Hoot. Yep. How's it going? All right. <laughs> First impressions? It looks like one of those baseball catcher's mitts. Yeah. I mean, it literally is like sitting in one of those. Cool, isn't it? So this is... Actually, I really like the little buckets in the back. That's really cool. Uh, this this is a three grand option. Unbelievable. I know. Yeah. At the time, anyway. I mean, it is nice, isn't it? It's it is still really nice. nice. Look at this. Yeah, it's really nicely trimmed, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the Italians do some stuff just so well. Yeah. These seats are bespoke to the Grand Sport as well. They feel comfy. Yeah, they? no, they are really, they're really nice. They're nice, really nice. Nicely shaped. Yeah, yeah, no, they're really good. secure braking, I mean massively. Felt a bit twitchy. Crapping yourself already. Yes, I yeah, am. I thought so. Just be it's really smoother. bad. It's really bad. Well, I was trying to unsettle it there, to be honest. Um, but it's got the traction controllers on, you'll be relieved to hear. Thank God I'd, for that. Yeah. What do you think about the way it looks? I quite like it, but I much preferred the uh, boomerang tail lights I'm afraid. Yeah, no, no, the, yeah. These tail lights look like Mondeo ones, yeah. they're just horrible. No, they are. Which is a shame because it's a nice it's a nice shaped car. How did it feel to you pace wise? Feels quick. Did it feel like the quickest thing it didn't feel that stable though I have to say. Oh, man, it feels yesterday. totally stable. Do you think to me? I yeah. thought it would felt a bit no what it is it feels twitchy on the steering because the steering is very light. Okay. And it's quick. It's your style of drive. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> My terrible driving. Pretty. It's not as terrible, you just, you just I'm not... I'm jerky. You're not relaxed, you're not smooth. What about the um, the ride? Uh, so far, it's a bit firm, but... Yeah. It's firm, but not unpleasant. I don't really like the gear changing. Because? I don't know, it feels a bit clunky. Well, I don't know what it is. It feels like there's a bit of, sort of, Slop in between the gear changes. Yeah, it doesn't there. feel very smooth. I can see your hand going for the rail. I just the nervousness I of you, the hoot. I don't feel comfortable with your driving. I know. Sorry. <laughs> just You're just not smooth at all. Plus, obviously, I'm a shit driver. It's your style that doesn't gel yeah, with it doesn't, me. It doesn't matter, man. However you wrap it up, Hooter, you're basically saying I'm a shit driver. I just, it, it un just unsettles me, your yeah. driving, that's all. <laughs> okay, so you heard it here first. The Hooter approves of the car. I do. I like it. <laughs> We're ready to test the new exhaust, so here goes. Ignition, sport mode on. Is it? I've already taken it for a little drive and I can tell you, it's not really quite as loud as I would have liked. Um, changing the bat boxes actually was not a complicated thing to do. It was a bit of a pain. You have to take the wheel liners out and everything and um, there's quite a lot of little screws holding them in. Um, you know, it's fiddly, but I think uh, anyone with sort of medium capabilities, mechanical capabilities, would be, uh, would have no problem whatsoever changing them over. The modification that I did is through the Sports Maserati forum. There's a user on there, Benny D. Lovely guy, actually called Ian, but that's a long story. And um, through the club and everything, they do this um, modification. They take the back boxes, they cut them out, 
and I think, I'm not sure exactly what they do to the internals, but I believe that they take some of the perforated pipes out and replace them with um, solid pipes from which you get, you know, you get more noise through. Lots of traffic about, unfortunately, that's sort of Sunday afternoons for you. Let's see if I can go somewhere quieter. feeling at the moment is that I definitely wanted it louder. I think it's a really good mod to do. It's good value because it was just 300 quid to get the boxes redone and you still keep the valving on them so that's great. But for me I definitely wanted a bit more noise. It's, it's not noisy enough but I don't think I'm going to go to the extent of changing those uh, to sports cats or anything like that because that's all really expensive stuff to do. Still a great car and it does sound good, but um, yeah, needs to be louder. Uh -huh. 